I've got here one of the tabletop Scenics MDF buildings from TT Combat, which is for 10mm scale. I'll be using this for Adeptus Titanicus. Uh, so, the tools I'll be using to assemble this are an old brush, a knife, and some PVA glue. So, let's open it up and have a look at what we've got in here. Plastic wrap goes. We've got a sheet of cardboard. Nothing on there. So we've got a sheet of cardboard. And no instructions. So it'll take me a little while to work out how to put this together. It does look like wall, 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 wall. Uh, these are two floors. These are the uh, ledges that go around the building. And these do look like they're internal supports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look how to put this together and then cut the pieces out. I'll be cutting the pieces out using the knife if they don't just come out like that. I'll then be using the knife to smooth the FDM MDF bits so that they are flush. You can do this with a knife, you can do this with a file, but what you want is the pieces to be clean with no bits hanging off. So I'm going to remove all of those from these uh, boards. and tidy them up and I'll come back ready to assemble the building. So I've separated and cleaned all the pieces and the building goes together in four stages. Uh, one of which is putting the support structure together, putting the walls on, putting all of these little balcony stroke ledge pieces on, then the roof and the roof supports. There's some additional cardboard pieces, but I am totally unsure as to where they go, and the instructions found online aren't clear. So what I'll do is I will work out where these go at the end and pop them on and show you. Uh, with everything, don't tear these out, cut these. It's fairly simple to just cut them on the cutting mat, and then you get completely smooth ledge pieces like this you don't get any bits that could cause any issues or any rips. Because you can see, popping it out, I've got a little bit here that's going to need some PVA and getting pushed back into place. So, a bit of PVA, press and hold that, put some other things on top of it to do that. The next thing, these pieces go together like this. So you put together four corners like so, and then these, a bit of PVA glue here. little bit here. Okay, yeah. And then a little bit on the inside. The issue is going to be getting it to stay together while the glue dries. It's a test fit. It's this, this, and this that I need glue on. Mm. 
pop that together like so and leave that to dry. So under these lights the PVA glue will dry in about 5-10 minutes. Uh, the issue with that being I'm not going to make you sit through those 5-10 minutes. So when that glue is dry I'm going to apply an additional layer of glue to the outside here uh, and to the inside here to make sure these stay together. So it's not complicated assembly but it will take a little bit of time. So if you're doing several of these set up a production line. So I'm going to leave those dry for a few minutes hit the outside with a layer of glue as well to make sure that stays together so I'll be back in a moment so with these sections pretty much dry it's now time to start assembling the walls of the building so the walls are identical with the only difference between them being uh, the presence of two doors for front and back so they'll go together like this and then have one of these sections in here so let's apply the PVA And you want to make sure there's plenty of it. Join these together like this. Like so. And then you've got to leave that to dry. So the logical next thing to do would be to put the other two sections together and then join them together with these. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'm going to come back to join the whole thing together and put the roof sections on. This is what this looks like with these assemblies mostly dry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these together So lots of PVA glue is going on, because lots of PVA glue is needed. So it's one of those situations where you've got to be quite patient.
so I pop this together and then these go in to each of the inside corners but then to keep this in line I'm going to take the roof pieces and I'm going to put those on right now because they'll hold it into the square shape because I don't want it to dry and not be perfectly rectangular Side here, and then pop this down onto here and work it in. There we go. Side of here, there we go. So that holds this mostly in place in exactly the shape that it needs to be so I'm going to again leave this to dry for probably at least 20 minutes and then I'm going to start putting these on so you can see how these fit in in fact I might start putting some of these in there but then show you when I do the last few I'm doing so simply to speed up the process So I'll do several sides of this off camera and I'll come back and do the last side on camera and show you how to finish up the kit. So I'll be back in a moment. I've taken those spare cardboard pieces and I've put them on the roof. I've also used some filler to hide the gap between the two boards. So on three sides I've attached the ledges, which are these narrow cardboard pieces, and this is now mostly dry. So I'll show you how the ledges are done. A little bit more glue in the thing. and you just make sure it goes on the bottom of these gaps and you get one of these you pop it in You find where it joins with the ledges from the next sections and you pop a bit of glue on there to seal it. Now if that doesn't work you can come back and use a little bit of filler. Ok 
because you do want those joins to not be that noticeable because that's another thing that will make it look more like a kit and less like a building. So you just go all the way down with these, making sure you plug them in like so. And then you end up again putting a little glue to join them to the sides next to them. So we also have these sections which I'm trying to see if there is because logically they should go like this. However, if you do that, they don't join. Whereas if you do that, but yeah, they are meant to go together like that. However, that might be that they're meant to go together like this on top. They are, aren't they? So I have been a little too hasty in gluing down this card because that blocks hiding these so I'm going to have to peel these off I think yeah I am going to have to peel these off which has destroyed these but you can't see them anywhere on the instructions for where they're meant to go so I'll leave these two middle pieces because they don't contact anything but I will take up the rest so then Yep. There we go with a bit more glue. and you get it exactly lined up with the edge. So I'm going to go around and finish these off. I'll show you the finished model in a moment. But yeah, there's nowhere to, that it shows you where to put these cardboard pieces on the instructions. So I think putting them on the roof is probably the best bet. They obviously don't copy what I did. Um, I'm putting them up to the edges because that's where uh, these pieces go and again that's not immediately obvious that that's where these go from looking at the pictures so I'll be back in a second with the finished product so the building is finished uh, all the ledges are on the bits are on the roof there's a few little pieces that were in the windows that I've put on the roof to break it up a little bit uh, looking at this for six pound it's really nice it's big it's pretty substantial you can certainly fit uh, for Adeptus Titanicus Knights a Warhound Titan behind it and completely block line of sight uh, if you're playing 
any 10mm game, for most things you can hide them behind it. Warlords you won't be able to. Reavers I think will probably poke out the top. But, for 6 quid, it's a good little kit. Uh, you've seen me put it together. I've double checked the instructions. I cannot find anywhere where it says where you put these cardboard strips. Uh, but don't make the mistake I did and put them down until you've finished it because then they could make quite nice pieces to go on the roof but yeah it's a nice little kit tips go over these edges where the ledges come together and maybe use a bit of filler to fill them in so that they all the way round don't have gaps in because otherwise they will uh, you can also use a little bit of filler to just neaten up some of the holes that the ledges go into. Those aren't that noticeable, particularly once the model would be painted. Uh, I would paint the whole thing and then go back and put um, something inside for the windows, um, plastic card or something like that. You, just, you can just get a coloured plastic card, cut it into strips and glue it on the back of the window frames so that you can't see all the way through and that will give you a reasonably nice effect uh, it's MDF so it'll soak up primer when you put it on but it is entirely paintable and when I've got a bunch of these painted I will come back and do a painting MDF video but yeah I like the kit it's good and cheap uh, I think it's 6 95 on the TT Combat website. I got it for 6 quid at a show. And yeah, it's a good fit for Adeptus Titanicus. So if you've liked this video, hit like or subscribe. If you feel strongly, leave a comment below. I'll be doing a series of content for Adeptus Titanicus. Uh, hopefully something... Hopefully everything in there that people like. But otherwise, good gaming. <laughs>